Okay, um, it's been a long time since I have posted a video. It's been a really long time, but I want to do it a lot more now since uh, spring is coming and we've got lots and lots of garden and greenhouse and lots of fun stuff that we're gonna be doing. Um, apologize for the wind, it's a little windy right now, but it's pretty nice, it's like 40 degrees and the sun is shining, so I enjoy it. I'm, I'm enjoying the, the sunny weather, it's been really nice. So what we'll be doing on the video today is um, I'm going to be showing you our dead bees and um, here they're right here. You, you want to come outside? Come on. Trust it. There he goes. Um, so we've got some dead bees right here. Whole lot of them. Whole bunch of dead bees. And uh, the reason why we use dead bees in our garden is because it's basically a compost and they have a lot of... Uh, nitrogen in them and so really helps the plants to grow um gives them a lot of good um boosts uh you know enriches the soil and whatnot uh, we like to use bees because we have abundance of them we have a lot a lot of dead bees because of the business that we have so yeah i'm gonna be loading all of these into our garden right there in our garden we've got uh, four giant garden boxes that all of these bees need to go into so we're gonna uh, grab the wheelbarrow and and start wheeling them in so It'll be great. I had to uh, switch out for shorts and tennis shoes because um, it was getting too warm. <laughs> it's getting too warm, so that makes me happy actually that it's uh, that I'm warm enough that I have to wear shorts and tennis shoes outside. So it's great. So next, what we got to do is uh, see all the piping, all this water piping, it's the watering system for the garden. We've got to pull um, all those up and get them out of there um, somehow because then I got to spread all of this out and we got to rototill one of these days. So that's going to be fun. So, I don't know if you can see on the ground, but we left a lot of um, old, old tomatoes, a lot of little baby tomatoes all over the ground. And, that's actually good for your garden because uh, what happens is it like ferments or uh, turns into compost basically. And so it's ready uh, to get rototilled in, mixed in with everything else and with these nice bees um, for the next year. So yeah, I'm excited to see how our garden does this year. I think it's going to do way better than it did last year. I mean, last year was phenomenal, but um, this is a... Uh, this is going to be the second year that we're going to be using this spot, so I think it'll be even better. So, if you're wondering where you can get dead bees, where you can, you know, come across some dead bees, uh, a good place to look, um, number one, see if you have any uh, beekeepers in your area. Um, you know, or any like honey businesses in the case, that's where we got these ones, of course, because of our, our honey business. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, go look there. If you have your own bees, great. Um, try to rake up as much as you can around where you keep them. Uh, cause of course they'll just drop dead normally where their, um, where their hive is, you know. So good place to start. Um, normally you don't have to go far and wide to find some some uh, dead bees, these bees. So look around, ask some people um, if they know of anyone who might have some. You know what's crazy is that bees have such a short lifespan. Oh, sorry, we've got some construction going on behind our house, but 
bees have such a short lifespan and uh, they only live about two weeks after they um, hatch. And so it's amazing that they can still um, provide you with something after they die, you know, hence the dead bees around me. So they're truly little miracles and that's why we love them so much and we try to take good care. And Okay, well, I think that's probably the end of this video. Um, got everything done that needed to be done right now. We have definitely noticed a difference since we started uh, putting bees in our garden. Um, we probably started doing it, I would guess, probably 10 years ago when we started putting bees in our garden. And um, before that, uh, we just put manure. We've never put, uh, we've never put any kind of chemicals or anything in our garden because we don't want that in our food we don't want that in our bodies and so using these bees is a is a really good way to do that or using any kind of um, organic matter for your um for your compost for your garden uh so yeah i think this is um i can't wait to see how our garden turns out this year but yeah thanks for watching